just want to discuss, maybe don't agree with it uh, as much. Comes now. Is this the run for, yeah, the carry from run for Mark? Yeah. Check, check, call for foul play against Blue in possession. So for me, uh, compared to what a Chichuka we saw when he got the red, the elbow was there, fair enough. For me, was the open palm. Oh, man. Yeah, I thought open palm first, then a bit of momentum. I mean, you're not going to push the guy forever. Yeah, you're not going to hold him out there. Yeah, like you're that, not going to so. hold him somewhere along the line. Yeah, I don't, for me personally, I don't think that's a... That's a that's a, did he got a yellow for that? I would accept a penalty. For me, the Chituka one's different because he went up and did that. First of all, he's got an open palm. So it's a handoff. And that guy, that's terrible te tackle technique anyway. He should be a lot lower. So he gets hit, gets the palm first. Then he brings the elbow in. But I'd, for me, the, I'd, that's not a yellow. Let's just go back to that whereby now. You mean you bring out te tackle technique where we've got seen guys being penalized for a lack of technique and then mm -hmm. they, they do their training or whatever. Yeah. You know, uh, so who do you look after here? You know, do you first say, well, your technique's wrong, that's why this happened? Do you say safety first? I said, we all agree, open palm, that's where you're going to hand it for a guy. Yeah. He gets a bit closer, you're not going to hold him forever. Somewhere along the line, he's going to get closer as well. Then the elbow came up. But there it was, he said the technique was wrong. Need to go lower. I, I just think that's play on, too. It's as simple as that. It's a carry, he got him up, the guy came high. So, I mean, I can't, if I'm handing you off stress, I'm not going to hold you like this and run with yeah, you. My elbow's yeah, going to bend yeah. somewhere along the line. And that's exactly what happened. I, I, let's just play on. In fact, in the coaching manual, if I pick a weak shoulder and I attack the weak shoulder, the first thing I under contact on the shoulder, not on lower down, on yeah. the shoulder. And then the next thing, if I hit you and you come at me, I can do this. We're double jacking. Oh. As long as I grip as well and I turn in the grip, there's all the things he did. If that elbow then just slips up and touch you, oh, come on, man. This is so brilliant. You bring the coaching manual. Where I've always asked this question on the show, where when the law changes... The impact it has on coaching. Because yeah. now you've got to change that the way you. you Defense coaches. Yeah, you, you, you pass on the, the, the information in terms of there's your weak shoulder. From then on, I don't know, drop your elbow down to make yeah, sure you, you don't ride up with the elbow to the neck. You, yeah. It's got to change because we're going to get more penalties. Man, it's such it's a fine line. If I come in and I hit you like this in the face or elbow in there, and that leads to sure. a different story. Yeah. But the correct procedures are followed by him. First the hand, then the close, then you're holding. Now, if he does this with the guy, that's fine. That's what one. That's how you... But now, I'm, I'm saying on that manual, if you do that again, so there you're on the shoulder, no, we've on turned, shoulder. it's gone that way. That way. Yeah. So no. now, clearly, you've got to say to the guy, you've got to dip the shoulder. Absolutely. The elbow's got to go down. you got to... You've got no, to I'm just saying, if you, yeah. you're, you've got to find a way now, because the elbow's leading, we're saying, we don't want that. So I've no, got for, you. For me, leading with the shoulder is if you've got the ball and I run to space, and then as I come here, then I go like that. Sure. That's leading with the shoulder. Yeah, the if shoulder. I'm handing you off, and then you, Swayze comes to me, he's got he's a puff. I mean, Swayze is a big powerful yeah. guy. Powerful. And then he comes in, and then I end up doing that. So I'm, that's, I'm saying, that's if not you, a yellow card. But if you go back to that action, yeah. the way the law, the law is, go back to the, okay, that yeah. action with it. So here you are. Yeah. That's naturally going to happen. Yeah. So I'm happen. saying maybe now on the on the, on the whole coaching manual, elbow's going to dip, almost yeah. like you you cranking yeah. a guy in the scrum yeah. to avoid the elbow going up. Yeah. So again, it goes back to the laws get changed. The impact it has on coaching, same story where we say the ball's been kicked every time we say to a guy, True. keep your eyes on the ball. Mm. He keeps his eyes on the ball, you jumping, I'm not watching you, we collide, you saying you jump first, no, you jump second, red card for you. Yeah. So all, all, all that's got to change our way to a guy say, well, look up, look at the opponent, look up. There's so much, the sequence has to change to yeah, avoid. Yeah, and the, the consequences the are so high now. Yeah. Um, you, you look at the tackle technique, the, the ability to level change, you can live and die by. Because, okay. I mean, let's say, if you look at that tackle again, the, the, Leinster, the Leinster player, if he goes up and his head collides with, uh, with for Mark. Then exactly. It's, it's the other way. So, so he goes, uh, that's terrible tackle yeah. technique, the way he's gone up. He's gone up with his head facing. Yeah. If there's head contact here, so we'll, we'll look at it now. But if Guys, he's head contact with, the, with, um, with, with, the, with the bull's lock here, look how high he is there. If he hits him on, with the head, head. he's that's gone. Red, yeah. He's gone. He should be tackling a lot lower. That's red then. Then he's gone. Exactly my point. Mm. Say he didn't lead with the arm and he was, his head was leading and he can carry like mm. that. And the two heads touched. It was a red against that guy. Yeah. So please, uh, officials, TMO, have a look at that. That tackler was in a terrible position. Terrible position. His tackle mm. height was totally wrong. He was looking almost to milk a red card. It was just ridiculous. Because now, it, it, if we're going to go that route, we'll find 10 things in a game that all have yellows and red, and it's carrying on and on and on. For some of the, uh, re other reason, there's no sanity as far as I'm concerned with these things. Same with the high kick. Well, there was one um, 
it was the curry cup game, the province fumous curry cup game. With the tackle, it was in the tackle, his knee was on the ground quite low, and he went in to make the tackle, head contact, sent off. Now, he technically, he did everything right. right. The everything. Yeah. So everything what? right, but he still got a yellow card.